Hey guys, it's me, Travis. I sent you all this evite because I have an awesome surprise. As it happens, I've been working on an app just for us drama kids. It's like YouTube, but better, more confidential, and the algorithm doesn't keep recommending I watch the cast of Riverdale do ASMR with slime. We can chat on it as long as we want, and the only way to access the app is by answering passcode questions that only drama kids will know the answers to. Like, who got spun off the turntable during Lay Miss two years ago? Ashley Newman. Who got trapped under Milky White during Into the Woods? Ashley Newman. What broke down during Crease and had to be carried off stage? Trick question. Both the car and Ashley Newman. I'm telling you guys, this app is a game changer. Just record and hit send. And by the way, check out the new filter I sent you. Does the concept of a Snapchat for your mom and dad was free? Do you have to clear your browsing history every single night? We must communicate, stay up to date, no matter where we are, my friends. There's an app for that, and it's spelled T H E A T E R E R. The universe. And Samantha Shyster. First off, I'd just like to say, thank you, Travis. This app is awesome. So incredibly awesome. Thank you for making it so Sarah and I can bring you... Sarah and Sam. With today's Tea and Jam. Yesterday, Carrie with a K overheard multiple cheerleaders confessing and participating in a human pyramid scheme. <gasps> Oh my gosh, really? Well, I heard Scott from Science thinks the possum that lives on the top of the school is getting smarter. You know, I think he's right. All right, big news time. Two staff members haven't been seen in several days. I'm specifically referring to our beloved Miss Linda the Lunch Lady. Best known for her chocolate cherry chimichangas. And our janitor, Mr. Humphrey. Best known for his omniscal and secretive waste management habits. What? O-M-G. In a stunning and potentially related turn of events, our very own drama teacher, Miss McGarry, has been moved to the custodial department. Which the administration reports is due to budget cuts and not due to the mysteriously missing gender. Seems suspicious, suspicious if you ask me. So sus. Good idea. Sarah just sent Miss McGeary an invite to our app. She should be joining right about now. Hello there students, fellow faculty, the possum. I would like to reassure all of you that my new custodial position is not a demotion but a lateral move to an equally important position, like a jazz square that stops halfway through, a jazz line, if you will. I believe that keeping our school clean is just as noble as keeping our school artistic. And when life gives you lemons, you should make lemon meringue pie. I mean, I've never successfully made a lemon meringue pie, but they're very tricky. And anyway, it's, it's nice to have goals. Look, what I'm trying to say is, if anyone has what it takes for the job, it's me. Cleaning is just like theater, and don't say that it's not. When I mop, I channel Shakespeare, and I yell out, damn spot! Custodians are theater artists, the world's their masterpiece, and like theater directors, they're sick of seeing the race. Oh, I'm sweet like and I can have a tap break now and then. Then I'll plunge into the toilet, then you burn into the sand. The sand! Cleaning is just like theater, and art that's truly fine to grab the wind and send the squeegee. Cause it's my time to shine.
Hey, Jerome again. Foster here, holding Ginger the goldfish. Or the remains of Ginger the goldfish. She kicked the bucket this week. Now, I know what you're thinking. Foster, isn't carrying your dead fish kind of weird? But I'll tell you what's weird, the things going on at the school. Lunch Lady Linda and the janitor gone missing. Ms. McGarry suddenly a custodian. Ginger and I are headed to the one place where you can both flush a fish and flush out a mystery. Custodia! That's right, Mr. Humphrey's secret lair at the back of the school. Now, I know what you're thinking, Foster. No one knows what's in Custodia. No one's allowed in Custodia. Mr. Humphrey doesn't let kids going near Custodia. But now grumpy Mr. Humphrey's gone, and lunch lady Linda has vanished, and Miss McGarry is refusing to spill the dirt on her new janitor job, which is, presumably, a lot of dirt. And you guys know I love a mystery, so here I am, out by in hand, recording this video in case I get caught skipping second period. Ginger here is my plausible deniability. And also, my friend, who is dead. Not necessarily in that order, but look, this is important. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad Miss McGarry is keeping such a good attitude about all of this, but auditions for the school musical start tomorrow. And if she's not there to lead the drama club, our show will be directed by Coach Brockjaw. Coach Brockjaw. He once asked me what jerseys they wear in Jersey Boys. I'm telling you, drama gang, I'm not just going to Custodia for myself. I'm going there for all of us. And my dead fish. And maybe myself. I've always loved a mystery. They're pretty much the bomb. Used to stay up reading Sherlock then interrogate my mom. All mysteries are daunting, yes, they're filled with fear and doubt. But my dead fish and I are gonna figure one out. Isn't that right, Ginger? Ginger? Oh, great. I'm a stranger to a mystery. Just check out all my logs. There's an abandoned dog out at the school and a freezer full of but no one's face cast on ya So dark and probably cursed So my dead fish and I Yes, my dead fish and I Yes, this dead fish and I Will have to be the first Be careful, Foster. I don't want to exaggerate, but literally everything I've heard about, talked about, or thought about is the fact that Mr. Humphrey and Lunch Lady Linda vanished into thin air. And the last time I saw Miss Linda, she was walking right towards Custodia. I don't want to hypothesize, but for all we know, she suffered a gruesome fate. Too horrible for words. Be careful down there, and don't do anything crazy. I know you could be a little dramatic, so I'm begging you, just tone it down. Oh no, okay, I hear what I did there. Don't worry, I have a common technique that works for situations just like these. It works like this. And there's so much here that we don't know, it's really overwhelming, so let's use a little logic and we'll be okay. Mr. Humphrey's awful shifty, put the odds at 50, for see either nothing wrong or there was foul play. Frankly, when I think about it, something starts to think about it, nothing is for sure, but now I've got a hunch. Mr. Humphrey is the killer, he's the cleanser, just a girl, and lunch lady Linda. Sweet lunch lady Linda, for lunch lady Linda, she's lunch. Danny here. Some of you may not recognize me because I play in the pit band, which means I spend half of my life in a tiny room underground. I searched the band room after a second period of jazz ensemble, but I didn't find any clues. I checked everywhere at the office, the rehearsal room, and even the instrument cases. Nothing. Nada, fermata. But I can't spend all day looking for clues 
Some of us have to practice for the all-state additions. Wait, what's this? Someone put a new piece in my folder. It says for the Humphrey event. It's a, it's a clue. All right, folks, let's see what this sounds like. Vader, that sounds ominous. You only play ominous music when something's bad about to happen. That's Pip Band 101. Guys, I'm really starting to worry about Janitor Humphrey. Hey, Drama Gang. This is an emergency video call. Carrie, you were right. I think something seriously weird is happening in Custodia. Not only did I not see Ms. McGarry, but it was all dark down there. I had to use my phone flashlight to flush Ginger down what was either a custodial sink or a bathtub for small, unusually shaped children. And then, just as I was going to leave, I found this, a wallet. I know Mr. Humphrey hasn't been in school all week, so I thought it couldn't have been his, but I found his ID inside, and this creepy poem. I promise I will always keep you safe. I will watch over you until you die. You will never be far from my sight. We share the ties that bind. So I'm thinking three things here. One, Mr. Humphrey still may be in custodia. Two, if he's in there, but I didn't run into him, then Custodia may be bigger than we ever imagined. We're talking secret tunnels big. Three, if this poem is about lunch lady Linda and she's gone missing, she could be in serious trouble. And three, the reprise with Ms. McGarry acting so strange we can't rule out the option that she's in on the whole thing. Look guys, I don't want Coach Brockdaw directing the musical any more than you guys do. He wants to ask Carrie who runs defense on a chorus line. But with auditions tomorrow, we've got less than 24 hours to find out if we can trust Ms. McGarry. So I'm calling the whole drama club to team up and find out where Lunch Lady Linda is, what Mr. Humphrey's up to, and just what's going on here. Okay guys, me again. I was home feeding my cats dinner when I saw all of your messages and I immediately rushed right back to school where I'm already searching Custodia for more clues. I don't know what Mr. Humphrey did to make lunch lady Linda disappear or how Miss McGeary got tricked into taking his old job. But if you ask me, we can't trust that grouchy janitor as far as we could throw him. I mean, if the entire drama club teamed up, we could probably throw him a couple of yards, but then he'd be really grouchy. I heard that if a teacher ever looked at him funny, he'd leave a caution wet floor sign outside their classroom for a week. And even if it's not a wet floor, how messed up is that? Wait a second. What are these? Oh no, these are Lunch Lady Linda's. She did get lured down here. And what's this? Where did these go to? Oh, MG, I'm starting to panic. <laughs> There's so much here that we don't know, it's really overwhelming, so let's use a little logic so we don't get scared. All of Linda's things are here, which honestly is kind of queer, but maybe she just wanted different clothes to wear. But now I'm lost without a map, and maybe this is all a trap, and Mr. Humphrey landed this to catch me too. What an awful exercise, now I'm freaking out of pipes, all my cats I put down my do. Hey 
Hey followers, it's Maddox. Sorry, I mean Drama Club friends. It can be so hard to remember I'm not running an immensely successful food reviews channel, when usually I am running an immensely successful food reviews channel. I'm sure you can all imagine the stress. Anyway, I just wanted to hop on this new app. Thanks, Travis. And let everyone know they should savor their Salisbury steak today, because from now on, the cafeteria is only going to be serving fish. I heard one of the lunch ladies whispering about it in line today. She said, and I quote, There's only going to be one option from now on. Fish. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Maybe it's due to budget cuts. Maybe it's due to the disappearance of, Miss, of lunch lady Linda. All I know is, if you want more food news, or as I call it, foods, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, shoot. I did it again. Yay! Your dinosaur chicken nuggets are ready! Mommy, not in front of my friends! Hey everyone, this is Gloria. Terry gave me the key earlier. She's okay, by the way. Just a little anxious. And so am I. I so hope I don't have to audition for Coach Brockjaw. One time I'd asked him if he'd ever seen Chicago, and he said, the Bulls are the Cubs. And I'll admit, did Terry remember to mention that today was my birthday when we hung up? No. And did any of you guys mention it yet today? A day which I might add is almost over? Also no. But here I am anyway, being an incredible friend, sneaking around in spooky custodial labyrinths. On my birthday, trying to find the door that this key will fit into. Wait! Oh my gosh! This is it! This is the door! Oh my gosh! You guys did remember my birthday! You're the best drama club ever! I'm so sorry I ever doubted any of you! At last! I feel my life's complete, and it feels so good, it tastes so sweet. I've watched other people's birthdays every year since I was nine, now finally someone remembered my Wait, hold on, I'm getting some chat messages. Let me read them real quick. Oh, you guys didn't know it was my birthday? And who put all these balloons here? Did the janitor know it was my birthday? Did the possum? I think I need some alone time. Guys, I have huge clues news, or as I call it, clues. So I was at the mall, right? Because I wanted to swing by GameStop and pick up the new game Animal Flossing. You know, about the cute animals who do fun victory dances and fight each other to the death. Except I had to get my older sister to drive me, and she wanted to go to the jewelry store. So I'm standing there waiting for her to finish talking about, I don't know, ear bracelets or whatever, when I see it. A ring box labeled Elmer Humphrey. Now, I don't know Mr. Humphrey's first name for certain, but I've read enough books to know that if your name is Elmer, you're almost certainly a cranky old man, and Mr. Humphrey is a very cranky old man. And get this, the box said one to rule them all on the lid. So here's what I'm thinking is going on. Mr. Humphrey is an evil wizard. Huh? Huh? Do you think that could be anything? Look, I'm just spitballing here. Add me on Animal Flossing. Peace. Hey. I guess I should probably explain why I've been hiding in the home ec room this whole time. First off, one of these days, Miss McGarry is bound to actually make a successful lemon meringue pie, and I want to be there when it happens. But more importantly, the truth is, I don't think the drama club will like what I have to say about Janitor Humphrey. That's that. I think he's a really nice guy. One time after a late rehearsal, Mr. Humphrey helped me secure my science fair wind baking soda volcano to the back of my bike. And I've never forgotten how kind that was. You try getting your own baking soda volcano onto a bike. After erupting, those things are slippery. Sure, he's kind of quiet and he doesn't smile all the time, but who does? Well, 
us theater kids do, but have you met us? We're exhausting, and we're all being a little quick to judge here. There's something to be said for the people who are kind of quiet. Dr. Seuss was awkward. Newton was aloof. Lincoln stood at six foot four but hardly raised the roof. Meryl Streep's an introvert, so that alone should say. Sometimes being quiet's okay. Gandhi wasn't chatty. Sharon's very shy. Snape seemed scary, then helped Harry frequently not die. Was quiet things like Captain Trees and yoga wear so blessed. So if for once you see their kids, should just give it a rest. Today, guys, ballet, okay, bar work the entire time. My oh my goodness, my legs are gonna fall off. My legs hurt so bad, but they feel so good. Do you know what else is super good? I overheard my dance instructor today say that Mr. Humphrey, our janitor, Mr. Humphrey, has epic dance moves. So here's what I'm thinking: the man has killer moves. The man has endless real estate in the form of custodian. Put those two together, and what do you get? That's right. Mr. Humphrey is, in, is running an exclusive, high-end, underground Zumo studio from the, underneath our school and is forcing Lunch Lady Linda and Miss McGeary to be his backup dancers. And before you say I'm way off base, the other day I saw him dancing in the hall just like this. <laughs> Was he quite as good as me? No. But who is? I rest my case. Okay, guys. I don't have long to talk because I'm supposed to be stocking the canned goods at the school's food drive. But after what I just heard, I knew I had to contact you all right away. When I picked up these canned goods from the church last night, I overheard one of the church volunteers saying that the sanctuary wasn't big enough for Mr. Humphrey and Lunch Lady Linda's upcoming service. When you put it together with everything we learned, it all finally makes sense. Mr. Humphrey and Lunch Lady Linda are both dead, and McGeary did it. And now they're having a joint funeral. Oh, it's so sad. These were special people who made our days clean and fed us healthy, nutritious. Well, they made our days clean. Now, I'll honor them by helping bring this food to the needy. Nothing will distract me from, oh my gosh, I'm going to be late for auditions. Bye. All right, guys, this is it. The moment of truth. I'm here at the drama club office. Ms. McGarry is nowhere in sight. And any second now, Coach Brockjaw will be here to have us all audition for The Greatest Showman, which I know for a fact he thinks is a documentary about Rob Gronkowski. I've assembled all the clues we've gathered, and it's time to announce my conclusions. When you put together the strange disappearances, the wallet, the poem, the key, the fish, the ring box, the balloons, the tiger food, the dancing and the music and the service, it all becomes very clear. Mr. Humphrey turned Lunch Lady Linda into tiger food so that he can serve mercury filled fish in the cafeteria to clear out the school for his Lord of the Rings themed zoo dancing club. And also, they're both dead. Oh, what's the use? We failed. I've failed. I don't know what we're going to do about all this or where Ms. McGarry has disappeared. I guess I was never cut out to solve mysteries after all. At least Ginger isn't here to see how far I've fallen. 
Oh, Ginger, I'm so sorry. I thought I'd love a mystery, a chance to use my brains. But nothing here is making sense, and Ginger's down the drain. I guess I'm I guess I'd better go pick out a dress for Lunch Lady Linda's funeral service. Wait a second. Dress? Service? That's it! <coughs> What's this? <coughs> I'm getting a message. <coughs> no. It's a meme of a cat in an apron? All cats and kittens are being asked to sign on to theater right now! Finally, you've all arrived. Welcome to the Stodio Crom Club. Don't expect to leave anytime soon. I know you've been on a crazy hunt to find out some very personal information about some members of our staff. Well, the first thing you should know is, it's none of your business what the adults do in their personal time. The second thing you should know is, wait, ah, hold on. Sorry, this basement is damp and there are leaks everywhere. So I have to wear this hoodie. Where was I? Oh, right. Since you all find out soon anyway, I wanted to be the one to tell you Mr. Humphrey and Lunch Lady Linda, who, by the way, is just called Linda, will be getting married tomorrow. What's that, Foster? You already knew? Well, I bet you didn't know this, that I, being the best director in the city, have been acting as their wedding planner and master of ceremonies. Oh, you figured that out too? Well, I'm counting that as a victory for our education system, so you're welcome. Anyway, that's why I haven't been around a lot. I was trying to get, keep a low profile while running a really high profile gig. Auditions will of course be postponed so I can give you the attention you both deserve and clearly demand. I would have notified you earlier, but an artist can't be expected to keep track of anything, especially not when they're imagining, planning, and executing the greatest exotic animal themed Presbyterian wedding this middle school has ever seen. Oh, another thing, I know many of you have some harsh things to say about Mr. Humphrey, but I want you to know if, that if he ever seems tired or grumpy, it's because he works two jobs that he can send his money to give a kid a crock foundation, making sure every kid in Eastern Europe has both a slow cooker and a pair of soft, ugly shoes. He also volunteers at a big cat shelter in his spare time, and he always manages to keep our Thayer's first aid kit well stocked for Ashley Newman. Still, I must confess, Mr. Humphrey has saved several of our musicals. When the turntable began throwing actors willy-nilly in Les Mis, Mr. Humphrey fixed it. When the car broke down in Greece and began to spew wiper fluid across the stage, it was Mr. Humphrey who cleaned it up. When Ashley Newman cried so much on the closing night of Matilda that her salty tears ran to discolor the stage, it was Mr. Humphrey who desalinated the floorboards. So in conclusion, don't jump to conclusions, and don't judge a book by its cover. I'll see you at auditions. Hi, everybody. Good morning, everyone. It's Sarah. And Sam. With, with today's Tea and Jam. Our top gossip today School bells weren't the only bells pealing through the, these halls last night. We heard wedding bells as Lunch Lady Linda walked down the cafeteria aisle to marry Mr. Humphrey. The entire school was in attendance. The bride wore white and a hairnet, and the groom traded his typically dirty coveralls for some slightly cleaner coveralls. And the flower girl duties were handled by Ashley Newman. Until halfway up the aisle when she remembered she was allergic to most flowers and had to be escorted out by medical professionals. 
Of course, the best part of the night was our surprise flash mob from our very own drama club. So much fun. We hope all the best as these two lovebirds start their new lives together. Theater, theater, a drama class with each other. We share stuff with each other. It's super fun and quite secure. Theater, theater.